Hello everyone to today's movie. In today's movie we're going to look at the non-parametric sign test but this time we're going to use the SPSS software package. In a previous movie we looked at uh, Excel. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go back to Excel just to remind ourselves and in this particular case as a reminder we, we know that we have a sales manager who oversees 16 inside and 16 outside sales representatives. Every inside sales representative is paired with an outside sales representative. After interviewing all of them, the sales manager assigns values to the level of understanding that every inside and every outside salesperson have of their shared territories. A mark of one means great insight and a mark of five means little or no insight. So what we did was we set up the null hypothesis statement that there is the same level of understanding and insight of their respective territories among the inside and outside sales people. So you can see territory one, the inside value was three, the outside value was four. For territory two, the inside was four, the outside was three. Okay, and what we did was uh, we set up the alternative hypothesis such that there was a difference in insight between the two. So we had a two tailed test and we tested at 5%. We did the assigned test and our binomial, exact two-tailed binomial uh, solution. If I just uh, make this screen a little bit bigger for you, give me one moment. So what I'll do is I'll put it 100%. Okay, and we found the two-tailed uh, exact binomial p-value was 0.804. Now you can see that you can use Excel to solve this problem, but it's a little bit complicated. But what we can do is we can use uh, SPSS. So what we can do there, we can see we've got the inside and the outside data there. So to actually solve this problem using SPSS, we click on Analyze. Now we want non-parametric, we want legacy, sorry, one second, we want legacy dialogues, and we want two related samples. Okay, now you can do it uh, this way, or you can do it a slightly different way, but we'll stick with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to transfer A to variable 1, and we're going to transfer B to variable 2. Then once you've done that, then you choose the sign test. Okay. Now you can uh, modify by uh, doing an exact solution. So we click on exact. And then we'll click on exact. And then we click on continue. Okay. And if we click on uh, options. One second. So we click on options. And then if you want to ask for descriptives. And quartiles you can and then click continue then click OK and then in the output file you'll find that it gives you the SPSS solution and what I'm interested in is this here look the exact significance 0.804 it's using the binomial distribution so if I just screenshot that for us go across to the Excel solution just to do a compare so if I just scroll across there and scroll up, there we are, and then paste it into there, yep, and then chuck it across to there, then you can see, look, you can see that SPSS gives us the exact two-tailed p-value using the binomial distribution, and we got exactly the same value, 0.804. So the sign test is very, very, very quick, but you just got to make sure you pick up the right number, etc. Okay, so that's the end of today's movie. Bye.